Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Delicious and welcome to another quick stream tip video. In today's video, I want to show you how you can record high quality clips that are 1080p even if you only stream in 720p. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to be using OBS Studio and a feature in that called the Replay Buffer. It's going to be very easy and it's going to allow you to make clips on the fly while streaming for highlights or things that happen on stream that you think are interesting to show off to your audience after the stream. Now as always, if you like these kind of videos, please support the channel by leaving a thumbs up, smashing that subscribe button and ringing the bell so you get a notification anytime a new video is put up on the channel. Like I said, we're going to be doing everything in OBS, so I would say let's roll the intro so we can jump into our PC and I can show you how it's done. So as you can see, we are here in OBS, and as you've probably already seen when you are using OBS, there's this little button behind my face that is called the Replay Buffer. It says Start Replay Buffer over there. That's exactly the button that we're going to be using. However, we're not going to be starting it manually ourselves. We're going to be doing it all automatically as soon as you hit the Go Live button. In order to do that, we're going to go into our settings. And when we are here, the first setting that you want to check within the general menu is in the output section. You want to make sure that the automatically start replay buffer when streaming is ticked. This makes sure that, like I said before, you automatically start your replay buffer whenever you go streaming. So you don't have to think about it yourself. You don't have to manually start it. Next up, what you want to do is you want to go into the output menu. You want to make sure that the output mode is set to advanced. And then there's a few settings that we're going to have to change here. First up is we're going to go to the recording setting. Here you will see all the settings that I've been using. So I'm going to go over them real quick so you know which settings you need to use yourself. So the recording path, you will set this for yourself so you know where all the videos are going to be located. Make sure that you have enough space on the disk drive that you're going to be set because some of these videos tend to be pretty large. Recording format, I always choose MKV because it's a high quality HD format and it's easy to convert to MP4 whenever you are done streaming within OBS as well. I'm going to be showing that too. If you are using an NVIDIA video card, I advise you to use the NVENC H264 encoder. If you're using an AMD card, you can always select one of the other encoders such as X264. Rescaling output, this is an important one. Make sure that it's selected and you want to make sure that it's set to 920 by 1080p. Of course, this also means that you have to record everything in 1080p while you are streaming, even though you are outputting only at 720p. If you don't know if you have set this correctly, this is easy to check. If you then go to the video tab down here, your base canvas should be 920 by 1080. If this is set to 1080p like it is over here, you are good to go in recording high quality 1080p clips. Okay, back to the output menu. All the other settings you can basically leave as is. The only thing that I would advise you to do is setting the rate control as CBR, which means constant bit rate. That means that your video is going to keep a constant quality instead of fluctuating based on things like CPU usage and GPU usage. For bit rate, I would set it at 6000 kbps. Alright, that's it for this tab. Moving on to the replay buffer tab, which is next to this one. Now this next screen is also very important to make sure that the enable replay buffer is checked otherwise it's not going to do anything and then this one is also very important to set the maximum replay time i've got mine set to 30 seconds and you can see down here the higher you set it the more ram it's actually going to be using so if you set it for instance to 40 seconds you can see the memory usage is going to go up and of course the higher you go the more memory it's going to use now be mindful with this because this is all based on the amount of ram that you have installed in your pc of course obs is not the only program that's using your memory so be mindful don't set this too high because you don't need 10 minutes of a replay clip whenever something good happens on your stream usually it lasts only maybe one minute maybe one minute and a half so don't overdo it with your maximum replay time i got mine set to 30 seconds and i've never run into an issue where i didn't have enough footage for my clip Okay, we're done in the output menu. A few more menus that we have to check. One of them is going to be the advanced menu. Here under the recording section, you can see the file name formatting. So currently it's set to a year, month and day format and also based on time. This will make it easier for you if you have several clips from a specific stream to find out which specific clip you need if you know what time exactly it happened in your stream. Another setting that you probably want to tick is automatically remux to mp4. You can do this manually, but if you set it automatically, you don't have to worry about it afterwards. And one thing that I've set is a file name prefix, namely replay. So if you have multiple videos stored in that specific location, you know which are the ones that are coming from your replay buffer. And that's it. If you press OK, the next time you go live, you will see that your start replay buffer button is going to be active and you will be able to save your replay buffer anytime something cool happens. So you have a locally stored clip, high quality in 1080p. And there you have it, a very quick and easy way so you can share high quality clips in 1080p after your stream. 
Now, of course, as with every quick stream tip video, I also have a pro tip so you can make this even more easy when you are live. Now for this pro tip, one thing that you are going to need is a stream deck. I have one right here. Now with this, what we're going to do is we're going to make a button on our stream deck that when we press it, OBS automatically saves the replay buffer just as if we would press the button inside OBS ourselves. Now in order to do this, I'm going to quickly go back into our PC and I'm going to show you how to set it up both in OBS and in the stream deck software. So if you want to be using your stream deck with a button to save your replay buffer, there's two things that we're going to be need to do. One of them is going to be an OBS, so go back to your settings and go to the hotkeys menu. There you will scroll down until you see the replay buffer section and the save replay. Set a hotkey for that one, make sure that it's a hotkey that you don't use often, an F key, a combination of keys, anything that works for you, but make sure you don't use it in the games that you tend to play or within Windows or your operating system in general. When you've set that, you can basically go back out and that's all we have to do within OBS. The next program that we're going to use is, of course, the Stream Deck tool itself. And as you can see, I have a replay clip button here. I'm going to show you how to set up one for your own. So what you want to do in your list of Stream Deck actions that you can add, you want to type in hot key. There we go. Drag it in. Of course, you can give it a title if you want to. For instance, replay buffer. And then down here at hotkey, you click to assign and you assign the same hotkey that you just assigned in OBS. So in my case, it was Alt F3. And that's it. That's how you can do it. Next time you press this button, OBS will automatically save the replay buffer to a file as we shown you before. This will make it so much more easy for you because you don't have to worry about taking your mouse out of your game into OBS to click the button. Instead, you can just go to your stream deck and press the button instead, making it much more easier and you don't have to worry about a thing. And that's it. That's how you set up the replay buffer for OBS so you can share high quality 1080p clips on your social media. Now again, if you like these kind of videos or you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos I put out, I stream every Monday, Tuesdays and Fridays on Twitch or you can jump into my Twitch and my Discord channel and ask me any questions that you may have over there. Or if you have things that you are wondering about yourself, please let me know so I can make a quick stream tip video on that specific topic. Now again, if you like this and this was helpful for you, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you get a notification. And with that, all that's left for me to say is my name is Mrs. Delicious. You are all very delicious yourselves. Good luck, happy streaming, and I will see you again in the next video. Patriots. What? When you relieve yourself, a certain amount of chiral matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. What? There's a correlation between exposure and the development. It's just a commercial in this game for an actual well show on AMC with Norman Readers. That is funny and insane at the same time.